Good morning, you sexy Cajuns. How are y'all today? We're going to be trying to go do some uh, flounder fishing this morning. The tide's right. There's going to be a high tide that's uh, going on right about now. And what I want to do is I want to fish the uh, the outgoing tide right after the tide changes from the high tide to, the, uh, to start going out. From what I read online, that's the best time to catch flounder. So we're going to go test that theory out. I'm going to be going out to a little spot, this uh, little creek right down the road from here. And it's got a lot of good, strong water flow which is what you want for flounder fishing because they're going to be sitting on the bottom waiting on predator fish, I mean, uh, waiting on bait fish to come through. So they're going to be ambushing during really, really strong tides. So the stronger the tide, the better for flounder fishing. I hope it's going to be a good day. We just had a cold front a couple days ago. So this is a couple days after the front. Should be really good fishing. Anyways, let's get out there and let's go catch some flounder. All right, let's go try to catch some fish, baby. We got a miner that's about to start here in a second. It's gonna be coming off of the high tide. It's gonna be a high tide and the tide's gonna start going out and that's what we want for uh, flounder. I'm hoping that we catch some. I don't know how good go outgoing tide is for uh, speckle trout, but I know flounder like that, uh, that, the top of the outgoing tide. And we're getting here at the perfect time to fish that outgoing tide. I'm trying out a dark color because everybody's been using uh, the same white chartreuses and uh, and pinks and I want to try to give them something a little bit different today so I'm trying to fluke it's one of the flukes that uh salt strong recommends they actually sent it to me whenever I got my salt strong uh, membership just a while back so uh if salt strong recommends it I know it's pretty good I know their slam shadies are awesome But this is the color we're fishing with. I don't remember the exact color of it, but uh, Salt Strong recommended it and they sent it to me whenever I got my membership with them. So I'm assuming it's a really good color for them to recommend it. Oh, here we go. We got a fish. Oh no, we missed it. It's probably a flounder and I didn't give him long enough to bite it. Oh, he's got it again. Oh, we got him that time. Oh yeah, baby, nice flounder. Oh my God. Nice flounder, baby. Heck yeah. Let's get him over here. He came back and nailed it. Heck yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Nice flounder. He came back and hit it a second time. Awesome. Look at that beautiful flounder. Oh yeah, baby. That's what we're after. Let's get him back in there and uh, try to catch some more. I'm trying to get some photo ops and I might be missing a whole school of them coming through being stupid.
Oh, here we go. You lay down. Got him. Another nice flounder, baby. We are on them. Another nice one. Heck yeah. About the same size as the last one. Maybe a little bit smaller. Let's get him in here with the net. Nice. Heck yeah, baby. Let's not worry about taking pictures right now. We'll take some pictures later. We're going to keep them alive, so... Heck yeah, baby. Another nice flounder. That's what I'm talking about. Number two. Let's try a different color just in case they might not want this and there might be some of them down there. I got a pink and a green we're going to try. I'm going to try one of these babies. Slippery sucker. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that one for a little bit. I don't think it's going to be any better than the other one that we had. But you never know. They might just not be that hungry and the pink might trigger them. It doesn't hurt to try some different colors. You really can't go wrong by trying different stuff. Unless you come here every single day and you're catching them on solid white or solid sore juice or just uh, the color that you know catches them every single time, then, then that's different. But I haven't fished this spot enough times to, to say that these are the colors that work and these are the colors that's not. So it, it's good for me to go ahead and keep trying different stuff. Let's see when the major is. Major's after dark. And it's going to be a high tide again. So. About 7.30. Right after dark. That's a fish. Got him. Yeah, baby. We got another one. Bring him in. Come on, baby. Get over here. Oh, yeah. Number three. Heck, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Jig just fell, the bait just fell out of his mouth. Another nice one, man. They're all about the same size today. Nice flounders. Oh, yeah, baby. Nice flounder again. Number three. We're going to keep at it. Got the nice ones today instead of little big old things like we've been catching. Tried a different color and we caught one. I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. Maybe they just had to have they just happened to have one coming through. But yeah. There we go. That's a fish. Whoa, almost lost my rod. Nice. That's another nice one. Let's go, baby. Number four. 
Let's go ahead and get down here. Bring him in. Oh, yeah. All almost the same size. We've been catching the same size ones almost every time. Love it. We're going to get our limit today. Heck yeah, baby. Heck yeah, baby. Look at that. Number four. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's keep getting them. Let's see if we can get a measurement of these bad boys. I want to kind of see how big they are. Right, let's see how big this one is. This one is 15 and three quarter. This is the first one. And they're all about the same size. That one's about 15 and a half, 15 and a quarter. Oh my God. Yeah, I think they're all pretty much the same size. This one looks a bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Oh yeah, he's 16 and a half. Heck yeah, baby. This one looks about the same, about 16. Yeah, he's right at 16. So 16, 16 and a half, 15 and a half, and, and 15 and three quarters or something. Nice haul right there, boy. That's what I'm talking about. And that's our fourth for the day, baby. Heck yeah. Well, I want to thank y'all so much for coming on another adventure with me. That was super fun. Um, I caught four flounder. I was trying to get a fifth one, but I've been here for way too long, and I'm not catching any. I haven't caught any since the miner stopped. They, they uh, turned on at the start of the miner, and then about the end of the miner, they quit biting. So I think that's pretty much it. Anyways, thank y'all so much for coming by the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Join the Cajun family. Give the video a thumbs up while you're at it. Um, if y'all like flounder fishing, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, stay tuned to the channel. I'll be doing some more flounder fishing here soon. I haven't been fishing too much lately because I've been helping a buddy of mine get his uh, epoxy business going off the ground. And I've been working for a, uh, an AC company and doing that on the side too. So I've been so busy, I ain't really had time to fish. I'm back to fishing again, so let's get out there and let's keep fishing and let's keep catching. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. Until next time, everyone, tight lines. <laughs>